this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to put together everything that we've learned about the automation process to um, batch correct the white balance, color enhance, and resize an image and save for the web all in one go. Because generally, if you're going to be sending things for the web, um, after you've just taken a photo, this is usually what you do, um, is you just create an action for all of your photos so that you can just press a button and uh, it'll automatically create, punch up the photos, make sure it's a correct white balance and you send it off to the web and you quickly can send it off to your friends via email or up on websites. So let's um, put it all together here. Um, by opening up one of our images in our folder. So we have original image here. And uh, in order here, what you need to do is uh, correct the white balance, then you're going to enhance the color, then you're going to resize, and then you're going to save. So we need to do all these things while recording the action of performing these actions. So we're going to go to Window and Actions. Now we're going to create a uh, new action, and we're going to call it Web Enhance multi-web enhance. So now that we have that set, we need to um, correct the white balance. That's the first thing. So we're going to go to image adjustments and variations and we're just going to uh, correct here, offset the uh, the image which is uh, to green actually. Um, so where we have to green, we just look to the opposite, add some magenta. Should be alright. Okay, it's a good image. Now we need to uh, enhance that color, so uh, what we need to do is just uh, duplicate the layer and uh, set it to soft light um, at about 80%. And uh, another layer with lighten a little bit less. Okay, now we need to flatten that image. And now we're going to uh, resize the image here uh, with, again, my preferred 800 pixels uh, will do the job here. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, save for web. Saving for the web, making sure that we are on JPEG, 60% uh, quality, optimized, and none of the others ticked here. Go ahead and click on save, and we're going to create a new folder here and put in uh, ready for the web. Okay. Go ahead and click on save, and there we are. So we've, uh, we've performed all the actions. We can go back here to the action and stop recording. This is vital that you remember to stop recording, okay? So we have all of the actions over multi-web enhance. So we've done all that stuff, okay? Now, uh, again, if you don't want to be interrupted um, by the process of uh, this image here eventually being asked if, you're going, if you want to rewrite it, just uh, go into the folder that was created and uh, delete it. Just delete that new image there. Uh, you can leave the folder as it is, but uh, essentially you're going to be taking all the pictures in your folder and then saving them to the new ready for web one. So we're ready to do that. We can close this and not save. And now all we need to do is automate it. So we're going to go to file, automate and batch. And now we're going to select again, uh, making sure our action is the last one we created here, the multi web enhance. The source uh, folder, we'll choose our pictures here, our three pictures, obviously in this case, or in, in your case, you will be likely doing this to a large group of photos. That's the whole point of automating, right? The three here, are just for an example, you're probably looking at doing, you know, when you've taken 20 or more photos. Um, okay, and the des destination again, we can select a, a folder, we can choose the folder as ready for the web. And um, here we can select, um, obviously if you press OK, it's just going to save the uh, new images with uh, the original file names. Now, um, here I just want to take some time here since we're in the final step here, is to show you that uh, what you can do is not just have the document name, but you can have um, anything you want. You can have the date, you can write something yourself, right, of the name of the file, and then the extension and uh, or whatever you want, for example, if you want the uh, name, so for example, like excursion to Turkey, and then you want to put in a date, and then you want to put in the extension, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that you can customize, so we're just going to leave it at the default for now. Uh, press OK, and uh, Photoshop should do all the actions for us uh, right away. And there we are. And let's open up here our ready for the web image, and uh, let's open up an image. 
Okay, now we can see that the image size to this is 800, so it's been resized. And uh, if you compare it here to the original version of that, let's open that here, then you can see that this one is uh, way bigger, 1600, and it has that green tint. So, as you can see, it performed all those actions all at once, and uh, you've just saved yourself a lot of time uh, without having to perform all of these actions to, you know, however many photos you want to apply this to. So it's a good good time saver once you spend the time to dedicate to creating that one master action, as uh, if you will. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.